Hello everyone, my name is George Slutkowski and today we are looking at a new update for GS Groove Tools 1.2.8. So this is a minor update, but we have a lot to discuss, so let's go. So the first major improvement in this update are new tooltips for each and every control and button on the interface. So if you click on your interface over here, you will see that every button now have a tooltip. Uh, that you can read and uh, it uh, basically mirrors uh, the documentation but it's m uh, much easier to access it uh, like that and of course it is optional you can go to options and you can just disable the tooltips over here um, and they will basically disappear because some of them are actually uh, quite huge but they're, they're all uh, very useful for example if you go to the uh, first layer over here the zero layer uh, you will see that this tooltip tool actually quite huge, but you can read it and you can learn a few new uh, functions that you might have uh, used or not uh, before. And also all of the sliders, if I select any curve over here, all of the sliders um, have uh, tooltips as well. So as you can see, now we have everything right in the interface. You don't need to go to the documentation to uh, and, and read about this, but uh, just a note that there are a few uh, additional things in the documentation that you uh, might uh, um, not have in the tooltips. So it's a good idea to check it out anyway. And yeah, I hope it will be helpful. So the next major improvement in this update is that Convert curves are now out of beta, so you can now use it on your projects and I hope that it will uh, be very stable. So let's just dock it over here and uh, check it out. So uh, if you remember from the last update, the convert curves uh, basically just uh, converts between uh, different uh, types of curves that you can use in the plugin. Uh, for example, from warp card to extrude card and you can also ex uh, convert to tubes and uh, to two different types of tubes. So why do you need that? Uh, for example, you've been working on something uh, on something um, like brows or something short hair, for example, and uh, you accidentally started to use a uh, warp card. And warp cards are recommended for uh, long hair because they are kind of slow, but they have a lot of uh, control. So you need to convert it back to extrude card and uh, you don't want to redo all of your uh, cards. So now you can do just that and you can select uh, some cards, for example, those are warp cards as you can see over here and you can go ahead and convert them to extrude cards and uh, theoretically they should be the same if they have uh, all the compatible attributes matching so for example some uh, some attributes are not uh, available in extrude card that are available in warp card so if you have those attributes enabled for example like let's convert it back uh, for example like a twist graph or with graph they will not be obviously converted to extrude because there are no uh, such attributes there but every other attribute for example just normal twist and orientation and uh, stuff like that they will be converted and uh, uh, now the orientation is much better the retention of uh, orientation because uh, before when it was in beta uh, it kind of kind of rotated around a little bit and now as you can see it's it's pretty stable you can convert back and forth forth just like that and no issues with that i can even select everything and convert them to extrude and it should not change its position too much so this is a, a new update for convert curves use it test it and if something is uh, wrong just uh, contact me ah, and just additional thing for the convert curves uh, they will now also retain the original layer and original material that you, you you've used so you should not uh, lose uh, this information when you convert your curves and another improvement in this update is uh, that now if i convert it back to warp cards because we only have those attributes on warp cards as you can see it, it, it actually takes some time but uh, it converts pretty nicely uh, twist with and profile graph will now apply to every selected card so before you only could you could only twist uh, use twist graph on one curve that you selected it's, it was the last curve in the selection list but now it will actually be 
uh, applied to everything. And if you, if you look over here, yeah, I will just do this. And as, as you can see, it will now be applied to everything and the, it will update it in real time like before, only the last selected card, but it will actually copy everything to every other card. So you can now use it on everything. Same with the width and same with the profile. So another improvement in this update is the mirror operation. It will now be even more uh, stable than before. So as you remember, I've improved this uh, mirror uh, operation in the previous updates, but uh, sometimes it actually flipped the profile or uh, the orientation was not perfect. And now it should behave much better on both uh, types of cars. As you can see, it's almost perfect mirror over here. It will actually work better with warp cars and extrude cars as well. It's still uh, a little bit weird with the tubes because they have a, a different shape and it also it does not mirror correctly the bind uh, cards but that's there is nothing I can do about that. It's just a completely different type of uh, operation that needs to be written and I'm not sure how uh, to approach it at this moment. But the cars and uh, extrude and warp cars are now much better in this mirror and also flip the the same thing with flip you you should just uh, be able to use it with no issues and it will actually return back to the original location almost perfectly so orient to normals was improved as well in this update now let me let me just select this mesh and select this target and select those curves as you can see we have the same 10, ten iterations over here and but the minimal angle is actually now only one degree and the reason for that is that the precision of this operation is much better now and it actually it's a little bit faster so if you click on orient you'll see that now it orients and if I continue to click, it will not uh, even change the curves at all, the cards I mean, because it actually found the best spot on the first 10 iterations. So let me just uh, reset this a little bit like, like that. As you can see now it's randomized and we click orient and almost perfect at the first try. You can even decrease the, those iterations to five, I think. Yeah, as you can see, even with five iteration and uh, iterations, it's now much uh, more precise. There's also was a small improvement uh, to select CVs slider. Uh, this is a slider used to quickly select CVs on multiple cards and now it's, uh, it's a little bit faster and more precise and uh, just a reminder you can use shift to select multiple CVs as you can see just like that. You can uh, let go to select only one CV. Uh, you can let me just select the multiple CVs like that and you can hold alt to deselect those CVs really quickly and it will not select uh, it will not deselect the last CV like it was uh, doing before and also now you have a new hotkey you can uh, hold control to just move the slider without changing the selection so for example if I want to deselect something from the beginning of the curve over here I'll just hold control now I will hold alt and deselect the beginning now the same thing for the end of the curve and deselect those cards, uh, those CVs as well. So this is very useful for long hair or to select a bunch of uh, CVs on uh, multiple cards just like that. So card to curve algorithm was uh, completely rewritten for this update. And uh, just a reminder what it is, let me just extract all of those cards and I've actually extracted you uh, holding shift uh, that means that we have all the individual cards over here uh, so let's just move it over here and uh, the original cards of course are hidden actually let's let's just leave them there and now I will select those cards I will click card uh, to curve and it should recreate those curves right at the spot where those cards are and let's just compare i will just delete the old geometry i will leave the curves over here and let's just compare it to the original um, 
curves where they are. As you can see, here's the recreated curve over here. And almost at the exact same spot is the card. It's a little bit different, but it's almost at the same spot. You see? So now you can use this card to curve and to uh, actually restore uh, your uh, curves from the geometry. And it's actually very useful when you use something like XGen and then you can, uh, after you use XGen, you can uh, click generate and actually uh, convert XGen primitive to, to, uh, primitives to polygons and you can uh, actually generate cards just the cards from the XGen and then you can uh, convert those cards to curves like that and using that and orient to normal you can actually have a nice foundation for your hairstyle so another minor improvement here is uh, the UV editor and the supported formats for it. For example, now you can actually use a TIFF format and it will show correctly in the UV editor. So some bug fixes. In this update, uh, I fixed the bug with the selection of layers. So before you could, uh, before that bug, you could, could actually uh, hold control and select uh, the individual layers just like that as you can see the curves are now selected and uh, there was a bug that actually prohibited that and you couldn't actually select like that and now it's fixed and you can easily select every uh, curve in the every layer just like that it's an exclusive uh, exclusive selection and if you hold alt and shift you will have an exclusive visibility just like that isolate select so you can isolate select layers with one click also a small bug with transfer uvs was fixed uh, now the h flip uv attribute will be transferred correctly if you transfer bet uh, the uvs between cards so that was it for this update. Uh, use the new mirror operation, convert to uh, card to curve, and also convert between types of cards. And uh, yep, yeah, have fun.